Hello everybody and welcome back to Teresa's Corner. I am Teresa Ruiz and I hope you guys are all doing great. Look at this beauty. So, as you guys already know, I went to Sunset Valley Orchids and this is my thing, if you want to say that, this is my mini haul. Um, I do have seven orchids here. This will be my last, I promise, my last <laughs> um, order. Um, actually, I lied. I've already placed an order with Aqua Genera and it should be here next, within the next two weeks. But besides the point, these are all the new orchids that I will be getting this year. I will not be getting any more. The reason being is that I am planning a trip and I'm going to be gone for quite a while. And uh, well, I have to board these orchids or you know, have my mom take care of them and my husband, which they do a fantastic job, but I do have a lot more and that is an extra burden that I might not want to do. I mean, put on them. Anyways, like I was saying, I went to Sunset Valley Orchids. I loved it, you guys. And it was, they just had lots, lots, lots of orchids, but I ended up coming home with quite a few, right? And this is one of them. You guys have already seen this one in Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, look at it. It's beautiful. Um, it's a red, you guys. It's like a true red with slight hint of orange. You know, you might see the orange tinting. But anyways, this is one of them. And this morning, I'm going to show you the rest. So this one here is the... I'm sorry if I butcher it. I know I'm going to have a hard time. Alright guys, so this is the Sofra Lelio Catalea Chili Sauce. <laughs> it's got a cute little name. And it's crossed with this Sofra Lelia Calalea Fire Lighter Red Flame crossed with the Sofra Lelia Calalea California Apricot Orange Circle. So you see where the orange is coming from. Alright guys, so according to the tag, the California Apricot, Apricot Orange Circle has a highly commended certification awarded to orchid species or hybrids scoring 75 to 79 points exclusive on a 100 point scale and this is coming from the american orchid society beautiful plant nice round shape i love it look at the orange it almost looks on the on the lip like you're staring at a sunset let's see if i can get that in there all right so i do apologize i am recording indoors it's a little too early too dark and too cold to record outside. You might even hear the echoes from my walls. I do have high ceilings in my living room. I leave tomorrow and I don't come back till late February. So I figured I'd get this done and sometime I'd do the editing and post it for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so this one is the chili sauce. This was the freebie. Yay! Who doesn't like free orchids? So it turns out that there is a I don't know if it was a, uh, or it was a private collection actually, there was two private collections. There was an area that I walked into <laughs> while I was recording without realizing that those were a private collection. Yeah, I started grabbing, you know, I grabbed an orchid that I liked and I was going to put it in my basket and both of the gentlemen that were in there were like, uh, excuse me, those are not for sale, those are um, part of a private collection. So I ended up talking to one of the gentlemen and he showed me around his collection and actually three of these are from his collection and he gave me this uh, free orchid and then the other ones I bought from Sunset Valley Orchid. So that's what happens when you're distracted and you're focusing in all, on all the beautiful orchids that are around you that I didn't even realize it. But anyways, yeah, so this one is a freebie. And I have not seen the blooms. I have not Googled it. I will, and I will post that for you. But look at that beautiful bud. So then this one, you guys, this one, I love. They had tons of these in there as part of their inventory. And this one is the Potnera Rubicent Magic crossed with the Potnera Martha Clark Outstanding. You guys, it is a peach color with some like fuchsia in there and yellows it almost looks like you're staring at a sunset 
but uh yeah so they had they had some in bloom and i chose not to get the one that was in bloom i chose the one that had the sheet i hope it does bloom uh the reason for is because, like i mentioned before i'm going to be gone all of february so everything that's in bloom now i'm totally going to miss so i love this one so much and i did not want to miss the blooms on it so i'm hoping this one here I've never owned. I've never seen the blooms and this one here purchased from that gentleman. Epile. It's an epil epilelio calea. I'm pronouncing that totally so wrong. But anyway. It's a Procatavola golden peacock. And it's pretty big too. I hope you guys can see that it has it has some good roots there very healthy but look at the blooms and it has two spikes i'm glad i got to see these i do not detect any scent but yeah it's a beautiful plant i do not know much about it but from what i understand the gentleman there told me that this one and the and the magic wand are practically impossible to kill which is what i want i don't want anything i can this one, from what I understand, it is a true blue. Um, one of the few true blue orchids that are out there. I know I'm totally going to butcher this. It's a Cleoso Central Merillium. And uh, don't worry. Um, I'm not sure the tag. You can see the tag. But anyways, I will post the description. I will post the pictures. I have seen a few unboxings of this orchid and I loved it. Uh, the gentleman there only had uh, three in his collection. One was in bloom, actually two of them were in bloom, but he had just, he mentioned he pollinated it so he couldn't sell me that one. <coughs> so he sold me this one. And there's a new growth here coming in pretty decent size so I'm looking forward to this one uh, I will do more research and I will eventually once I've mastered growing it and there's blooms hopefully I can give you some insights on how to grow this one. for now I can't but it is a beautiful orchid I'm looking forward and my first catacetum you guys actually four of these are three different type of orchids that I've never had. I mean, I've had the hybrid, the Calilea hybrids, but I'm talking about like these other crosses I've never had. And this one is the Catacetum Marlene Young, cross with the Catacetum Karen Armstrong Super Nice. And as you can see, this one's already uh, dormant. It does have a nice little growth there. I don't know if I should water it. Please do let me know. Um, it is my first catacetum. I am so inclined and so tempted to water this orchid because I see that new growth. But I think I still shouldn't. So uh, please do let me know. I don't want to kill my first catacetum. I am looking forward to seeing these blooms. This one is quite young. So it's going to be a while, but yeah, guys, do let me know. Please don't let me kill this one. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, this is it. This is my Sunset Valley Orchid Mini Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any comments, concerns, any tips on any of these orchids or any of my other plants, please do let me know, you guys. I'd really appreciate it. And um, so if you haven't yet subscribed, you guys, to my channel, I'd like to invite you. It does really help me out. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell so you get a notification of when I do post. I post once a week. That's it, you guys. I hope you guys are all doing great and you guys have a good weekend.